The Art of Problem Solving, Working Backwards. Here is another problem. Anne has a certain amount of money in her bank account on Friday morning. During the day, she writes a check for $2450, makes an ATM withdrawal of $80, and deposits a check for $235. At the end of the day, she sees that her balance is $451.25. How much money did she have in the bank at the beginning of the day? So the first step is to understand the problem. Um, so far, we know that she took out $2450 and $80 and put in or deposited by um, deposited a $235 and then at the end of the day she found out that she has $451.25 uh, in the bank now we want to know how much is the bank account or how much money does Anne have in the bank account at the beginning of the day on Friday. So, we start with an unknown amount, do some operations, and end up with a known amount. We need to start with the result and apply the operations in reverse. Therefore, we're going to use the working backward strategy. Um, because we are trying to find the unknown amount, okay? And then we're going to um, subtract because Anne made some withdrawals and then we're going also to add, you know, um, we'll use the addition because Anne also, within the day, she also deposited some money, okay? So it means that um, using the strategy working backwards is a good choice, you know, a good choice of, of problem-solving strategy um, in this particular problem. So, let X be the amount of money and have at the beginning of the day. So, it's this one. Then, within the day, she withdrew $2450. So, Withdraw means she get some she get twenty four fifty dollars from her bank account. So meaning we need to subtract, no? Because she will get it. So we will subtract twenty four fifty dollars from her money in the bank account. That is why it's sub, uh, minus. And then she withdrew again. So we still have to subtract, no? Eighty dollars. And then, she deposited $235. So, once you deposit, deposit a money in your bank account, so, um, your, man, your money in the bank account will increase. Okay? So, we will use the addition as the operation for deposit. No? So, plus, plus $235. And then, after that, uncheck her balance you no know, after two withdrawals and one deposit she she um she checked her balance and it's 451.25 okay to find what is the amount of money or the account what is the money in the account uh, of Anne before she made the two withdrawals and one deposits? Okay, and that that resulted to 451.25. Okay, so we are going to work backwards. So we are going to um to start from the right, going to the left. So 
451.25 will be our first number. Then, we will subtract 235 because in here, we, it's, we added 235. So, the reverse of that is minus, okay, subtraction. So, minus 235. Then, in here, it's minus $80. So, the reverse of that is plus, plus $80. And then, um, in here, it's minus $2450. So, the reverse of that is plus $2450. Okay? So, again, the reverse of the addition is subtraction. The reverse of multiplication is division. Okay. And then, um, okay, this should be x, sorry. This should be first x, okay, x. Okay, so 2450 equals to x, so the x here, it should be here, equals to x, okay. Now, if we are going to, um, if we're going to um, subtract now 235 from 451.25 and eventually add to 80 and then to 2450, it will give us a total of 320.7 dollars. Okay, 320.7 dollars. But again, we still have to recheck to, to, um, to make sure. So, um, based, from, based from the result that was given a while ago, so, we have 320.75 as the starting uh, money of Anne in the bank without yet, without the withdrawals and the deposit yet. Okay? So, 320.75 and then she made, um, a, so, 320.75 minus 24.50 because she made uh, she writes a check or she withdrew 2450. Okay, that is why her remaining balance is 296.25. And then after that, she withdrew again $80. So 296.25 minus 80. Now the remaining balance in her account is 216.25. Now but she deposited $235. That is why we have 216.25, which is the balance, no? Her account balance, plus 235, with, which makes a total of 451.25. Therefore, our answer of 320.75 is... Correct. Now that ends my video on working backwards as one of the problem solving strategies. Now please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.